Hello friends, welcome to our channel Piping Mantra. In today's video, I am going to give you a brief introduction to piping engineering and also tell you the method by which piping progress is being measured on site for fabrication and erection. So let's get started with introduction. Pipe and piping system are the vein and arteries of the chemical process plant used for transportation of liquid, vapor, slurries, solid, etc. under various process conditions. The network of the pipe is subjected to extremities of temperature, pressure, flow and combination of these. In addition, they are exposed to corrosion, erosion, toxic condition and radioactivity. Plant should design in such a way that plant can have trouble free operation over a long or a design period of a time. As far as capital cost is considered, piping form a large portion of investment in the plant exceeded only by the major equipment. The pie chart shows the relative cost of various material component of the plant. As you can see in the chart, piping accounts for nearly 15% of overall material cost. Similarly, for man hours effort, you can see in the pie chart. This chart shows the man hours effort that goes into design engineering at home office for various engineering discipline, in which piping counts around 25%. If we talk about engineering effort, normally out of total engineering effort covering project management, detail engineering, procurement, inspection, expediting, etc., 65% of the hours are required for detail engineering. Out of this, 25% is required for piping engineering alone. The balance 40% accounts for civil, mechanical, electrical and instrument engineering combined. Similarly, if we talk about field labor cost, piping asks for maximum share which is 40% of total field labor cost. We can see in this pie chart. Progress in piping engineering is very much depend upon the feedback of equipment data either it is static or rotating, control walls and other inline instrument items. A close monitoring of the schedule of order for these equipment and follow up with vendor for data and drawing is required to finalize piping plan, generate isometrics, order bulk piping material as well as piping special items and release drawing to site for speedy construction and thus facilitate prompt startup. Let's see what are the knowledge required for piping design. Apart from having in-depth knowledge of piping design, one should have understanding of piping fabrication method and its related cost. One should have the knowledge of metallurgy and material cost so that one should able to provide the most economical design. Piping design being central to detailed engineering effort working knowledge of other disciplines like civil, mechanical, electrical, instrument and process engineering is also required to appreciate their problem or requirement and to be able to seek the right information from them to proceed with one's own work of piping design. Pipe and pipelines are always subject to fluid pressure at varying temperature. This results in expansion or contraction of pipe including stress which get transferred to equipment like pump, compressor and other static equipment or rotating equipment resulting in breakdown. A good knowledge of structure engineering is therefore necessary for analyzing and solving such problems. You can also watch our one of the video which we have prepared for the thermal expansion. Let's see what are the abilities required to be a piping engineer. Needless to say that a true understanding or knowledge of safety codes and practice is must for anyone involved in chemical process plant design and engineering. It has to visualize in 3D. To visualize piping scheme in various alternative and choose the most appropriate one is the basic to good piping engineering practice. Piping engineering being a team effort, good communication skill, good interpersonal relationship, it's a very big term, ability to work either as a team member or as a leader of the team to be open to suggestion and application of the new method new material and new design are important qualities that enable one to deliver quality work and the infinite patient are the hallmark of the good piping engineer as there are many times so many changes are coming in the design so what is the piping design function and size of organization the size and scale of operation of the design engineering company does not affect either the piping design requirement or underlying design principle and practices. 
as the volume, work complexity and the number of project executed increases, the degree of specialization increases. Piping layout, piping specification, detailed drafting and piping material listing begin to emerge as function handled by separate specialist group within the department. There is little similarity between the piping design performed by a team of a say 10 engineers from my small office and by large company having hundreds of piping engineer. The job performed in both the cases is identical and has the same degree of relative importance to the whole project design organization. The real difference lies in the number of projects handled by the design office. In a small office, the flow of work is such that each project is subsequently completed before the succeeding project commences. This requires a flexible organization within a small group who is responsible for all the aspects of design. However, in the large organization, not only large number of projects are executed simultaneously, but the size of project also vary. This requires different group of people with high degree of specialization for economic and administrative reason. In either case, piping design is most lengthy and complex part of the whole design work and almost would be on critical path of the project engineering schedule. Let's move to the second part of the video that is progress management in the piping. First is inch dia and the second one is inch meter. Inch dia is related to piping fabrication. The weld joint of the piping side is converted to equivalent inch dia of welding. However, inch meter is used for the erection and hydrotesting. The length of the pipe erected or hydrotested of the pipe size is converted to equivalent inch meter or erection of hydrotesting. Let's see the example. In this example, we have 8 meter pipe having 6 well joints. So that in fabrication, we have 6 joint of 8 inch dia that is 48 inch dia in fabrication. Similarly, for the erection and hydrotesting, we have 8 meter of 8 inch dia pipe that is 64 inch meter in erection and hydrotesting. To estimate the manpower in above ground pipeline, uh, we have this particular chart. For carbon steel pipe, a welder can produce 20 inch dia in a single shift. Similarly, in SS pipe, he can produce 16 inch dia in single shift and for alloy steel, he can produce 14 inch dia in a single shift. But this is only a guideline, it can be very. Similarly, here are the some weightage factor for piping on above ground like pre-fabrication stage is called a 30% stage while erection and welding stage is called 70% and if you are fixing the walls it touch the 80% and if we are doing the supporting it will touch 90% and during testing we can say we have completed the 100% of the piping work. In unit piping we have to connect two other equipment in that we have so many weld joints but in pipe rack and cross country unit piping piping work carried out to connect two units and are usually straight the pipe in this area is less complex when compared to the unit piping for example we can see here we have 24 meter pipe of 8 inch dia where we have only three joints so fabrication we have to multiply 8 into 3 and we get 24 inch dia pipe in fabrication for erection and hydrotesting we have 24 meter pipe of 8 inch dia that is 192 inch meter pipe erection. So in unit piping there is more welding and less erection but in pipe rack and cross country piping there is less of welding but more in pipe laying. So guys please do like share comment subscribe to our channel and please write to us if you want any video on any topic and do follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook. Thank you.